Hi, and welcome back. So today I'm on um, a location shoot. So I'll be discussing how to take different photographs of landscape scenery, such as trees. So today is another sunny day, so you have the blue skies again. Again, compose your shot. Go for different angles. It's nice that there's a cool breeze there. You can take a photograph of the flowers blowing in the wind. So I'm just going to walk on a bit further and we shall see what is above here. Here there's a lot of forestry, a lot of greenery, there's red cherries in this tree here. lines go in every different direction. And it's nice to have the blue background in as well. So we'll go on again. So it's all about timing when you're taking photographs. It's good to go on location when it's nice dry day and the clouds add more atmosphere but even if it was raining or dull it could be dramatic that way as well so here we have more flowers again we have the yellow and the purple so you've seen in my previous video I have taken a lot of flower photos already so I won't spend too much time here again we compose you can have your flower straight in the middle put it to one side you can add depth you could um, have a flower here in focus, use a 2.8 aperture, and then you'll have the other flower in the background blurred out. So it makes it more nicer of a shot. So I'll walk on again. You can start to see another view. But as we get nearer to the top, we can see the overall view. Here again would be a nice place to take people photography or even just to walk the dog. see here there's a birth line around so if I could capture the bird in a photograph that would be good she's flown into the bush so you just have to listen out where she can she might just fly up Tree. 
inspiration to frame. So it's leading into the photograph. You could also have centered or to the left. I prefer this one here. So it's a very blue sky behind it. You could add in the clouds then if you want it. But again, I think I prefer this one. So let's move on again. We'll get into the view down here. So you can take a landscape photo. But we'll see it better as we go along. So keep watching. And who knows what we might see. Could be a bird. Could be a wild animal. So we'll just wait and see. Here again would be a nice photograph if you had someone for people photography. They could stand up there. And if you have the greenery in the background. I don't know, but sitting down there now it might be a few turns. And if you have any questions about photography, you can ask below in the comments, and I'll try and help you out. So, you should be near the, the top in a few more minutes. I just heard something. Could be a bird, could be a rabbit, could be anything. Again, you could frame. The landscape below the two trees. Obviously, if I see the photograph, this would be a lot clearer. It's just because I'm on the recording function that it's gone blurry. Here we have another tree stump. Again, you can get someone sitting down there. And you're having a nice photograph with the greenery, the yellow and the purple. So we'll keep going. A lot of flowers are blowing the wind again, I was telling you about before, the previous video. So they're nice if they blow in the wind. So you'd have to use a fast shutter speed so that it'd be sharp. But if you want it to be blurry, then you could use a slower shutter speed. Isn't that a tree stump? ribbons on it. So take a 
Can you close your shop? Again, you could have someone sitting on it. Or an animal. So I'll just look down at the views. As we walk so far. And you could change positions. Get your angle down here. So you just get the greeny cuts off. This is the top of the photograph. You don't have the white. As you see, when you're taking a photograph, the metering will change. Watch it again. See? It gets darker and brighter. So you move it down again. Back down. The sun is starting to come out from the clouds. I won't point the camera up now. Keep watching, we never know what we might see. There's another tree. You can play around the angles a bit from one corner to the other corner. So you can be as creative as you want. We'll keep going. I'm hearing something now again. There's birds in there, you can hear them. Just can't see them. So we're getting near to the top. something again. Here are the birds again. And bees or something. See because they will be green. I'll we'll keep going. And you can look down and see the view that's coming. You could frame it 
again for some zoom trees. zoom in on the birds and just kind of get you can get an up close picture of the birds in with good quality you could zoom up with uh, this camera also but it might be a bit blurry or near the journal Nothing has jumped out yet. something I hear birds and there's one another view down. So the view is coming now. There's also an airplane in the sky now. Let's see if those clouds so you can recompose add more greenery. Better to have it like this. I will have the photographs that I've taken on location today in my next video. The airplane's gone between the clouds. I don't see it. So if I zoom in now, you might see there's the cattle, the cows in the field. Again, if I did have a different lens, a different camera, I could zoom in and take a better photograph. But as I'm on the recording fu function, it's blurry, but it would be better. So I'll take a photograph of that for the next video on my walk back down. So we'll keep going. So keep watching for the end view, which is really nice. See the butterflies. Again, I had butterflies in another video. So you can see them there also. Keep going. So 
this is a nice walk. Especially with the weather good. I might look that way. It's very green right now. The view back down. Compare your angles again. Another bird just flew across there. Do you catch it? See that the space is opening up, and we get the view down. Where's it going to play out? We're just at the top. I stopped there because I heard birds in the ditch. So here's the view I'm on a boat. It's coming up to my right. So again. even take it on the ground. So don't be afraid to change your angles. So we're now at the point where I was talking about. We can look down and take an overall view. So again, you can frame it with the trees and the flower going up in the middle. Is one more piece. No, no, I can't see that. So again, you could take a photograph. You can pull the shot. something so this is where you could look down at the view before but it has changed as there's more trees going so the best shot I got was down there a minute ago 